Hey fellow agents, this is Agent Smith and we are playing King's Quest, or uh, excuse me. Hey fellow agents, this is Agent Smith and we are playing Quest for Glory 2. We left off in the intermission as we were heading over to Rasir and we got attacked by bandits. So let's go ahead and continue. Stay tuned to the end of the game for intermission for Space Qu from Quest for Glory 3. Intimation. Obviously, we conquered the fuck out of those bandits, jeez. I love the smell of victory in the morning. It smells like sweat. No, no, oregano. No, like victory. Yeah, victory. Yeah. Yeah, that's the ticket. <laughs> Alright. Still continuing our travels. After a week of traveling, you leave the caravan when it comes within sight of the city of Rasir. The caravan master warns you that Rasir is a dangerous place to be, and bids you, a wary, bids you to be wary of all you meet there. He rears up and salutes you, you watch the caravan move onward into the desert. You ride alone to the entrance to the Rasir, and pass through the barred gates which barely open for you. It's a darker looking city. Hmm, confronted immediately, jeez. Stay where you are, stranger, or you'll discover how sharp a weapon can be. So, you are the one they call the hero Shapir. Well, understand this. We don't need no stinking heroes around here. Do I make myself clear? Oh, bitch, not me. Do I make myself clear? Yes. <laughs> See that you obey all the rules posted around town. Rule number one, strangers must always carry their visa. Do you have your visa? Already breaking your rules, are you? <laughs> this here is your visa. Don't leave town without it. Okay. Oh, well, let's go check out the Blue Parrot. Ooh, boy, okay. Of all the gin joints in all the world, you had to walk into this one. A hush comes over the bars. Some people notice you and eye you as sullenly. But you look at what crawled in from, uh, from the desert. He's been out of the sun so long, his hair has gone yellow. Now, now, Wilmer. He is a stranger to our fair city. You wouldn't want to give the wrong opinion about the hospitality of Rasir. Come here, stranger. I see you have already made the acquaintance of Kavin, our illustrious gar captain of Rasirian Guard. So perhaps you already have an idea of Rasirian, Rasirian hospitality. Come here, sit down, and let us have a little chat, you and I. Welcome to the Blue Parrot. I am Ferrari, Signor Ferrari. Sit down, my dear sir. Relax. You are among friends here. If you don't mind me saying so, you look like a man with a mission. I like that in a man. But perhaps a word of caution. In a city such as Rasir, there are many depths to the uh, problem. Not try to change things here too quickly. You will find that the system is not so bad once you get used to it. However, if you if it would be very dangerous to try to alter that system, you might make enemies. Enough of such morbid thoughts, though. Perhaps we should share a drink in honor of our relations, new relationship. Would you prefer a Rashirish coffee or gin sling? I'll take uh, Rasir's coffee. <laughs> uh, most prudent decision upon your part. Wilmer the coffee. Spilling it everywhere. Let us drink to our fortunate meeting. Drink the bitter, thick liquid. 
It has an odd, almost chemical taste. You feel strange for a few seconds, but feeling passes. Ferrari starts to ask some very probing questions, but you evade most of them. You're a very closed-mouthed individual. You handle your drink very well. I trust you will handle yourself and Rasir as well. We will reserve a room here for you tonight. You will need to return here before dark, for it's forbidden to be out at night. Join me this evening, and we will talk some more. I have some information which may prove useful to you. I will see you later. I have some thinking to do now. Can I... Make a thief sign? You place your thumb and your forefinger and do all that crazy shit? <laughs> oh. When I first saw you, I said to myself, there is a man who knows how to play the game. I appreciate that man. Know this, though. I am the thieves' guild here. Do not even think of using your skills around here without consulting me first. Huh? Brian just gestures you away with a fly swatter and find the bartender glaring at you. <clears throat> what do you know about Ferrari? There's a senior Ferrari, you punk. Yeah, what about Senor Ferrari? Senor Ferrari is to be respected and obeyed. Alright, all right, I can do that. Okay. Well, we'll take a quick walk around and see if we can navigate this place. Hopefully our map will work here. Can't use that item here. While Zarashir and Shapir are supposed to be twin cities, a large part of the city appears to be blocked off. At least you can use the map to see where you are. Oh. Well, that's pretty much a straight route. Palace. The plaza found south. Okay. Let's follow it and see where the plaza's got. Must carry your uh, visa at all times. Thieves Guild license. There it is, visa. They just keep warning me of that. This place is so desolate in comparison. Well, at least we could check and see what's around this town. Cracked and dried fountain is, is pitiful. Is a pitiful sight. Nothing on this side. What's on the other side? This place is horrible. Nothing. All right. Well, let's follow the other path then. I guess to uh, its destination. Okay, I think we're here. Yes, we are. Okay. The pa the plaza of the palace. It looks like there's absolutely nothing here either. What's the purpose of this whole entire place? Oh, hey. Okay, well, the palace doors are here. We need to do something about the guards first. Not trouble yourself with such actions. Okay. Well, hopefully the map will function as it should now. Gate Plaza, no? How about the Blue Parrot? No, I can't. Holy crap, okay, I gotta walk everywhere. Huh. Alright, well, I don't think there's much else I can do here, so I'm gonna try to find my way. Let's see, looking at this. Go to the left. Take my first right. Follow it all the way to the crossroads to the left. And I should be able to get back. I'll see you when we get aboard to the Blue Parrot. So we're back here at the Blue Parrot. They said they had a room for me, so I'm going to sleep. And he doesn't want to talk to the evening, so I'm going to sleep until the evening. And see if we can find something. There's a large closed door blocking your way. Apparently the sleeping rooms are only accessible at night. I literally have to waste my time. Huh. I'm uh, trying to avoid eye contact with the rest of the room. The occupants, the sound of your footsteps seems to echo water in your ears. Come join me here, my dear sir. You're still a novelty in her seer, and I take a vested interest in all things new. It is time we discuss some things together, you and I. Thank goodness. I wish to tell you a story, a fable that was a, as a moral. 
How you choose to react to this moral is your own life. As you well know, the old Amir was deposed last year, and his brother took over the palace. Rasir used to be a palace with very few laws and restrictions, a place where the streets were filled with people and merchants, and water flowed free from the fountain. That has changed with the coming of Kaveen and his master. New order has been established. The weak, uh, the weak have perished or fled. Only the strong who adapted remain. Those that could not adapt were destroyed. You are strong, but it remains to be seen how adaptable you are. It would be a great shame for you to wind up in Kaveen's dungeons. Enough of that for now. I have someone I would like you to meet. Ugarte, I would like you to introduce you to Kane. I'm very pleased to make your acquaintance. I have heard much about you already. Ugarte here provides an invaluable service to this community. He obtains things for others which are otherwise unattainable. For a nominal fee, of course. It seems he has some information for you. A rumor, perhaps, that may influence your actions. I, I will be happy to share such information for you. Say, five dinars? Yeah, sure. Here's your money. Kavi has sent a word out to his men that you are to be watched at all times. It seems that uh, someone is very interested in your actions. You should be aware that Kavin does not usually greet strangers at the gate. You were expected. Why would he take an interest? There's a little matter of a prophecy to be fulfilled, and this one may be the one. I suspected before that you were a very dangerous man to have around, Kane. It seems I am correct. Still, it will be very interesting to see how this game plays out. You may stay tonight in the first room past the door on the left. Why, thank you. I should like to speak with you tomorrow about the use of your skills. As head of the all legal activities of a seer, I am an influential and respected man. And I have no intention of letting any an amateur jeopardize my position. If you understand my meaning. Good night for now. Oh, it's a beautiful... Beautiful room. It's a mouse. That mouse is trying to take my fucking blanket. <laughs> you slept fitfully, dreaming of the rat-like monsters pulling at you in your dream. You felt cruelly exposed, but you are recovered. Senor Ferrari sends his regrets, but he had some rather uh, disturbing news. He'll talk to you this evening. Disturbing news, huh? Well, let's go explore some more. Oh, there's something going on here. Found Plaza. You see several men gathered in the south part of the plaza. Well, let's gather with them. Do not interfere. Hero, you must help me. Do something. The swords of the guards press deeper into your skin. There are no heroes in this town. You of all men should know that, Agarte. I, I know very little what is going on. I, I'm innocent of any word and wrongdoing. If you are so innocent, then what is this? Oh! Let me go bag of water. Uh, I, I don't know how that water bag could have gotten there. Someone must have planted it on me. Water skins under your tunic, Gagarte. You know that smuggling water is a crime against the state. You also know what we do to criminals like you. No, no, please. I, I'm innocent. I do not know how I got there. I, uh, no. Hero, help. Yeah, there's not, nothing I could do. This is the fate of anyone who breaks the rules of the city. Remember this, and see that you do not suffer the same fate. 
Okay, okay. My my own business, I hear you. I hope you're smart enough to learn this lesson. You do not want to see the dungeons of Rasir. Just left water all over the floor. He can't get the spilled water. Maybe that encounter will be enough for him to... For, um... Uh, Ferrari to be ready to deal with me. Everywhere I go, man, the guards are super enforced. I don't know how thieving is going to be even a thing in this one, in this uh, place. Either way, head back to the gate plaza. What's this? If you are truly a hero, follow me. Um. Okay. You see an open doorway. Quickly, before the guards come. Hello. Please, you must help me. Take off your clothes. I must leave the city before I am forced to marry Kaveen. I have heard you are a hero. With your help, I can be out of this city before nightfall. I, I wish to discuss myself... Uh, I disguise myself as you would leave with your visa. So please, let me exchange clothes with you. Do we look like we're the same person that much? I'll do what I can. I got a pair of clothes for you. Take those. You hand her the spare change of clothes that Shima packed for you. Thank you so very much. <laughs> Woo! You haven't seen a figure like that since I visited your accountant. <laughs> I shed a wig too. This is gonna be weird. How do I look? Do you think this will fool anybody? It's so nice not to have to wear a stupid veil. Please, in order to leave the city, I'll need one more thing. Although, it will be dangerous for you. I must have your visa. My visa? I don't know if that's a good idea. I guess. I can't get out of this city now. I'm going to be stuck here forever. There you go, lady. Thank you very so very much. In return for your favors, I can only give you a token. Here is my mirror. You have but to show it to any woman in the palace, and she will aid you. Again, my thanks, and may fortune favor you. Farewell. Right, good luck with that. Wait until he, she clears the alleyway before you leave, Effendi. Um. What was that about? Who are you? I am called Maison. Okay. Any rumors? Kaveen finds great pleasure in the pain of others. Kaveen? Kaveen will not marry Zayashia. I will kill him myself before I will let him leave have her. Huh. And what about her? I have been a servant to her since she was little, and her slave, uh, or since Ad Avish made slaves. I will do anything for her. Ad Avish? He was a snake's, has a snake's eyes and hates all women. Huh. And of the city? The city has been destroyed by Kaveen and Ad Avis. Huh. Yep, has nothing else to say. Well, thank you for your time, lady. I don't need her clothes either. What if I need to marry um, Kaveen to get in close and take him out? Snakey style. If you need a place of safety in a palace sometime, the harem will welcome you for the aid you gave my mistress. I shall tie a veil from the battlements at night to guide you. Thank you greatly, Effendi hero. Okay, that was crazy. So anyway, let's go ahead and head back to the bar like I was doing. <clears throat> I don't have a visa now, so I can never leave if I wanted to. But we can head back to the bar and wait around for uh, Ferrari to show up if he's not already here. Which, of course, he's not.
It's a pity about you, f our friend Ungarte, is it not? I can see you're as broken up by the affair as I am. However, it seems he asked someone the wrong questions about you. That is just a... That was just a performance put on for your benefit this morning. Kavin has known about Gutte's water smuggling for a long time. Most dangerous man, Kavin. Almost as dangerous as you are. If you wish to discuss something to your mutual advantage, come sit down. Well, first I need to get a drink, apparently. What do you want? Water? Get a small glass of tepid, stale tasting water. It's very dull, but it does quench the thirst. Thank you. <clears throat> As I have said before, there is no room for amateurs in this city. They tend to call attention to themselves, and this gives the profession a bad name. If you are as skilled as I have heard, that I might have a use for you. However, first you must prove yourself. Are you willing to do for me a small favor? Yeah. I wish to bring me a small ornament to prove your skills. This ornament is a black figure of a bird, a falcon. Uh, is it a Maltese falcon? I am an admirer of birds, you see. <laughs> the palace of the window is the window to your on your left uh, blah, 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 blah. the place is the window on your left as you first enter the fountain plaza from here the bird is kept in a locked cabinet in that room if you return this to me I'll make you my right hand man Wilma there must just does not have the quite what it takes to give me what I want to get past the guards outside, you have only to make the sign. Those guards are well paid to ignore my friends. However, any other guards you meet will not be so discreet. If you are caught, I will know nothing of your actions, of course. Now seems like an excellent time for such a venture. Good luck, sir, and I do hope that you are skilled as I suspect. Word. I'm going to hold off here because I've been recording for quite a while now. Hope you guys have been enjoying this. If you have, uh, then I'll see you in the next one where we're going to rob the fuck out of this place for him and hopefully get some uh, push forward into seeing how we're going to get into the castle. I think we might end up having to mess up somewhere and get put in prison uh, to get in, but that should work to get us in there so we can bring down Ad Avis and the evil, the Sultan, the evil Sultan, I forget his name on this side. Either way, I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day. Hey fellow Asians, don't forget to like and subscribe by clicking the button in the center of the screen. You can also find the last video by clicking the button to the left, and you can take a look at some of the other stuff I've done by clicking the button to the right. Hope you enjoyed the video, and have a good day.